Hello, hello, dear Virgo, and thank you for joining me here on the extended part of the reading for 2023. You've got the sun three times in your reading. Let's see what's going on. Okay, let's see what's going on. I want to take um, I want to take another tarot card on what this Four of Pentacles is about. So in the month of March, what's the Four of Pentacles about for Virgo? And we've got the Strength card. Someone needing to feel confident that they'll be uh, that they'll financially be secure, but also someone holding back and not being open about what they desire. So. We've got Leo here. The Four of Pentacles uh, many times is my Taurian energy. It's about being fixated on something. But Taurus and Leo are both fixed signs. Nevertheless, let's look at the Knight of Wands. We do see change here with the Eight of, Eight of Cups. Remember, you're getting to the Ten of Cups possibly here. Some of you are leaving a situation. Maybe your, your beliefs are changing here or you're dealing with someone that is that their beliefs are changing what is this knight of wands about so we've got a knight of wands and a queen of wands you've got the king of wands here too now dear virgo if this is your energy then we see that the divine feminine is more mature there could be an age difference uh, we see a lot of passion here but also I don't know if you're taking a business if this is in relation to you being an entrepreneur it's like you're spreading your wings and taking your business uh, to the world through through the internet or this could be a business trip that you're taking let's just take that eight of cups for a minute We've got the Six of Pentacles. This is possible divorce, my dear friends. And this is what you are striving for. This is what you want. You want change. And remember what the Seven of Fire was saying here is that you don't care if, if people do not agree with what it is that you desire and who you want to be. So we've got King and Queen of Wands here interesting six of pentacles more pentacles six of pentacles uh is generosity or feeling a miser it feels as though you've been giving and giving and not receiving so you are leaving something it could be a marriage could be could be you're paying money out as you are going on travels or for business if you're going on a spiritual retreat or that emotionally you are very strong and you are helping others. This could also be generosity that comes to you, financial help for this trip, whatever this is. I love the Six of Pentacles, I really do. Let's go, let's move forward. I want to look at the Emperor for a moment. Oh my goodness. I said the Emperor and two cards opened up. We've got the Star. So this could be someone that's physically at a distance and you're wanting to travel. Six of Swords. And what's interesting is you've got the Five of Swords here. And you've got the Six of Swords. And the Star is usually a wish fulfillment at a timely or at a physical distance. This could be a lot of communication about transition and change here. The, this could be also uh, some sort of a wish fulfillment connected to a business uh, because the emperor could be someone that holds a position of power. This could be someone that is very powerful that you are communicating with. You need to travel, transition or someone who helps you come out of this self-sabotage or this challenge here. Lots of questions answered through communication and social media, I would say the internet. The why in the reverse, you get a lot of answers here which help you transition. Now, let's take let's take the fin de sickle kipper in each quarter and see what's going on here. Yes, 
in the first three months, we've got high honors. Okay. This is a very powerful card. This is like someone being honored, right? High honors means great success where work is concerned as well. Let me just take one more. And it's connected to a main male. Whoever you are watching this for, this could be recognition, high honors from a main male. Or, or there's something that this main male is succeeding in. Let's look at your next quarter, April, May, June. We have poverty here, which reminds me of the Five of Pentacles. Uh, feeling unloved, someone not ready to settle down, or finan financially, if possible, divorce and separation. It does bring you financial hardship, possibly, here, or just emotionally feeling un unloved. And that's why you've got the Eight of Cups here. You are checking out. Yeah, checking out of a marriage here, dear Virgo. Wow. Someone is needing to pay money out if this is a possible divorce in this quarter. There's been something very unfair within a marriage. Someone just working really hard. Uh, and the other person slacking off. Who knows? Someone just giving all the time. The other person just taking. Let's look at the next quarter. July and September. July, August, September. We have the mature woman with, usually I see her as the empress. Could be, uh, could be you, dear Virgo. You are showing up as the queen of pentacles, which is logically the empress. She's the minor arcana of the empress. But this could also be a mother figure. We've got a false person here. Not seeing something clearly. Some sort of deception. Let's see. And we've got the child. Just trying to figure out what this false person. There's something that this emperor probably is not telling you about a child or ah. This could also be a possible surprise with a child which speaks to happiness. On the Ace of Pentacles, this is something, maybe a gift or an offer that's coming from this emperor. Maybe you're also doubting that this is true. Remember, you've got the star, which means it could be a wish fulfillment here. Now, this could also be a motherly figure or a partner of this emperor that is very false. Maybe they share a child together. Who knows? And let's take the October, November, December. This, there's like disbelief here. There's disbelief. And there's um, doubt, self-doubt with a five of swords. And someone has trouble expressing themselves. It could be this emperor. Let's see what the October, November, December holds. We've got courtship. Wow. This is the meeting here. This is the, uh, this is like the Two of Cups. There is a meeting here. That's why we've got the Nine of Cups, the Ten of Cups. But something needs to end here before this can happen. The Death card, remember, here. We've got sudden wealth feelings, suddenly very wealthy, emotionally, emotionally, I would say more, or you're dealing with someone that is very financially stable, or you feel as though you've won the lottery here, like seriously, in the 11th month with the moon, there could be a surprise that you don't expect. 11 sits on the 11th month with the moon, and the sun is beneath that. 
And there's a gift and the gift comes from childlike hands. There's fresh energies here, dear Virgo. How promising is that? It's a 17, which is also the star. Wow. We've got 777 here. Pay attention to signs and synchronicities that will be playing out in the 11th month. Let's look at where you are emotionally. In the first quarter, where is Virgo emotionally? Emotionally, there's something that you don't know. So there's information that you were that you did not know about, but this time you receive. It's like you're revisiting with a round and round. You've had these this experience, you've lived through this before, but the sun comes through. So you receive what you did not know, what was hidden. And it can, yes, be connected to deception. To this main male, they may not be talking about who they truly are. They're a... Uh, I don't know their position in this world high honors or what how they honor you very highly they did not uh they could not communicate that uh, or they're not being totally truthful to you of who they truly are it's like they're there's a veil that needs to be uncovered and it does get uncovered in the first three months let's look at the next april may june and the the hand speaks to a stop or it speaks to karma where we read the palm uh, but it says received it's interesting that it shows two hands something hands on doing something working on something I don't know how that speaks to you. Let's look at uh, April, May, June. We've got, you're going through an ascension process, spiritual ascension here. I did speak about that. But whatever you are working on, you are ascending here. You will have the return of what is ascending for you. It's like there's no work at some point and then all of a sudden, dear Virgo, you, you get a contract where you get paid and you become maybe, I don't know, part of a community. It's like a contract as well. And you've got vibrations. So trust your intuition on what's going on here. You are in an ascension process here. Now, I did see the card barrier, but I was not ready to put down the cards for July, August, September. Let's see, where are you in July, August and September? Again, a very intuitive time. You are taking time out, meditating. There's answers that you're looking for here. Um, pay attention to your dreams as well. We've got Buddha here. A lot of positive energy is coming in for you then. Let's see here. We have pride and ego. This is a very lucky card. And you may be dealing with someone that is very prideful and has got a very big ego now this is a very lucky card as well it does speak to great abundance here so there may be um you may be finding out about someone's financial situation here or I see the, the the peacock as great protection from spirit, but also a very powerful emperor here. And we've got a union here, dear Virgo. Wow. And in December, I should say October, November, December, you've hit the jackpot here. There is a gift here, a gift of money, abundance, emotional, financial. Wow, what a... What a last quarter. You've got the answer is no. No to being bound. We've got the devil here. And we've got lessons. So there is a lesson learned with whatever karma you've been dealing with in the year. Remember the bound 
does speak to Capricorn energies. And it's usually a very quiet time, the Capricorn season, right? But it's also a time of hard work. Now, this is like you saying no to being bound, no to narcissism, no to fear. And it's like you're seeing what the lessons were here. This is a very important quarter for you. You're not... It's, it's like you're defining your own life here and someone is trying to make you fall into the same cycle here, I believe. With a bound, it's like a cycle. Uh, it's an unhealthy cycle. And you're saying no to this because you're coming through as much more courageous. Now, if you've been dealing with someone that was very narcissistic, they're trying to return to your life, you are saying no. Nothing is stopping you here. You're leaving the drought here. This could also say that you're saying that less work and more play. And you're working smarter in the last quarter. You're letting go of the burden, the ten of fire. What's at the bottom? And we've got metamorphosis. A Virgo, your year of 2023 is going to be a very uh, a year of great metamorphosis. There's an offer here on the table from a soulmate. You've got a union here. Let's take a couple of Sabilas on the difficult cards. I want to see what this deception is about. Maybe it's self-deception as well. The deception could be coming from a marriage partner because it's a Mika and the Four of Wands. No more deception, stopping deception and seeing that you can lay down those foundations. It's the four of wands. So even where business is concerned, you're working on those building blocks. Um, there's also help from a friend here. And we've got the domestico. Now the distrust is someone that's close to you and around you. So it could be someone who supposedly is there to help, but sometimes they work on their own behalf. So I don't like the domestico very much pay attention to deceitful people around you could be a marriage partner as well what are these vibrations what's what's going on here in this quarter we've got falsita falsehood we've got leggerezza and we've got amore there can be a uh, deception third parties here within a marriage the Legerezza, though, is about a metamorphosis, change and lightness of being. Uh, Amore is here, Cupid. Cupid shoots his poisonous arrow. And the journey begins. We've got the Eight of Cups beneath, remember. Also, where there was distrust within a relationship, let's say here we've got the Ten of Cups. We've got new love. What the card is saying here, don't take distrust with you to your next relationship, Virgo. Okay, and someone, remember, is paying money out after divorce. Amore could be a child as well. You've got the child here as well. Um, this also speaks to a sexual connotation. So very powerful between the Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands. The cat can speak to play as well sometimes, even though sometimes it speaks to distrust. But there's a metamorphosis. There's a lot of play here with a butterfly. Remember, butterflies go from one flower to another. But there's a metamorphosis going on within a love relationship. Let's go to... I don't think I'll take on July, August, September. I just want to possibly take just one card on this false person. This false person, someone not being totally truthful. Not believing that there will be a reconciliation or that love is arriving or that this offer is 
given to you. I mean, it's the Three of Cups and you're waiting on some sort of an arrival here. A, an arrival of a union, a reconciliation for some of you. What is this No and the Bound card about? We've got the Prigione, you see? This is exactly the same as the Bound card. Lots of worry and angst and something sort of timing holding you back or not letting time hold you back or obligations anymore. Not feeling chained and bound. It's more about having fun. There's the Five of Cups. So you're needing to let go of any disappointments and mourning pertaining to the past. This is Allegreza al Quarter, getting out there, getting out and about and having fun, connecting with others. Let's take one more. We've got good news coming from afar. There is the Messagero. This is a positive, positive portal that opens. It's an 11 diamonds. So it's like 11 pentacles. This could be an invitation as well. Here is the gift, the news that comes in, the money, the financial support, the relationship, the meeting. Oh my God, what can I say about the, the uh, last quarter, dear Virgo? I'm so over the moon. Now, remember, it's a general reading, so it may not resonate for all of you. Some parts will, some parts won't. I want to thank you so much for joining me, dear Virgo. Love and light and wishing you well for the year. Ta-da.